Hello and welcome to week 9 of College Football Predictions. I'm going to only be going over the top 10 ranked teams and their games this week. So let's just get right into the first one, starting with the number one ranked Clemson Tigers versus the 4-2 and two Boston College Eagles. The Tigers had a bit of a scare last week against Syracuse, but they ran away with it in the second half and won 47-21. to 21. And the Eagles also had a win last week against Georgia Tech and they won 48-27. to 27. I think the Tigers defense has been amazing this year, only allowing 270 yards on average a game. And Trevor Lawrence has also had an amazing year so far, 17 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. I think the Tigers win big, 56-17. to 17. Now we have number 2 ranked Alabama versus Mississippi State. Alabama's defense has looked vulnerable at some points, but Mississippi State has struggled a lot this year, and I don't see much of a chance for an upset. I'm going to say Alabama wins 51-27. to 27. Now we have the Ohio State Buckeyes ranked at number 3 and number 18 Penn State Nittany Lions. Now both of these teams had their first game of the season last week and while Ohio State won big against Nebraska 52-17, to uh, Penn State lost in the upset against Indiana 36-35 to in overtime and while the, while the games between these two are always fairly close, I think Ohio State wins handily 45-27. to Now we have the number 4 ranked 5-0 Notre Dame Fighting Irish versus the 2-4 Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Now, Notre Dame won big last week against Pitt, 45-3, to and Georgia Tech lost to Boston College, 48-27. to I think Notre Dame's defense has been phenomenal this year, and I think I think Notre Dame wins big, 49-24. to Now we have the number 5 ranked 3-1 Georgia Bulldogs facing off against the 2-3 Kentucky Wildcats. Now, Georgia lost its last game to number 2 Alabama, 41-24. to Kentucky also lost its last game to Missouri, 20-10. to and I don't see Kentucky's offense being able to keep with Georgia's offense. I say, I say Georgia wins big 31-14. to Now we have the number 6th ranked 4-0 Oklahoma State Cowboys facing off against the 3-2 Texas Longhorns. Now Texas won its last game against Baylor 27-16. to Oklahoma State also won its last game after getting a scare from Iowa State. They won 24-21. to While Texas' defense has looked rough this season, I think their high-powered offense is going to be able to give Oklahoma State a run for its money, and I say they win in the upset in a shootout 42-38 to over Oklahoma State. Now we have the 7th-ranked 4-0 Cincinnati Bearcats facing off against the 3-1 Memphis Tigers. Now Memphis won its last game against Temple 41-29, to and Cincinnati also won its last game against SMU 42-13. to Now I think Cincinnati's run game has carried their offense this year, and I think with Memphis's solid run defense, I think they're going to have to get their passing game going, and I think they do. I think they win through the air 31-21 over the Memphis Tigers. Now we have the 8th ranked 3-1 Texas A&M Aggies facing off against the 2-2 Arkansas Razorbacks. Now Arkansas won its last game against Ole Miss 33-21, and Texas A&M also won its last game against Mississippi State 28-14. Now, I do think this is going to be a closer game than most people think, but I still think Texas A&M wins 28-24 over the Razorbacks. Now we have the 9th ranked 1-0 Wisconsin Badgers facing off against the 0-1 Nebraska Cornhuskers. Now, Wisconsin won big against Illinois 45-7, and Nebraska lost against now ranked number 3 Ohio State 52-17. And I don't see much of an upset happening here. I think Wisconsin wins handily 35-17 over the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Now we have the 10th ranked 2-1 Florida Gators facing off against the 2-2 Missouri Tigers. Now Missouri won against Kentucky last week 20-10. And Florida lost to now ranked 8th Texas A&M 41-38. Now while Missouri hasn't looked phenomenal this season... I don't know if I trust the Gators' defense in this one, so I'm going to go with the upset. I'm going to say the Gators lose 24-27 to to the Missouri Tigers. Thank you for watching, and make sure to post your predictions and thoughts in the comments below. But thank you, and I'll see you next time.